morning, my name is Mrs. Farnham. This is my third grade class at Ridge Elementary, and we are going to be doing a lesson on fractions in math this morning. Okay, guys, let's get started. So we've been talking about fractions, and we've been talking a lot about different ways to show fractions this week. I need someone to help me over here on our math board thinking about ways to show fractions. So the top one is a model. The top one is a model. I need someone to tell me how many pieces I should shade if I want to do show more than half. More than half shaded. Nick, how many should I shade? Can I come up here? You just need to tell me. All right, so one, two, three, eight. You should shade five. I'll shade five. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five. And so, Nick, can you tell me my fraction that I've shaded? Um, five out of eight. Very nice job. So I've shaded five, and then, Nick, my denominator, eight, means how, what does that actually mean? Your denominator is the bottom number of how many pieces you have in all. Very nice job. In all. It's my whole. Very nice job. And then I have a set. We can also have a set, and I decided to have a set of flowers this morning because I like flowers, and it's spring. It's almost spring. So who can tell me how many I should shade if I want to shade less than half? Less than half. Allie? Two. Okay, I could shade two. One, two. And so, Allie, can you tell me my fraction? Two out of six. Two are shaded out of six. And so Jasmine, what does two stand for here? Um, the T stands for, um, it's so tricky, right? What is the two? Oh, oh. Thanks Jasmine for being honest. Oh. I appreciate that. How many pieces you took? How many pieces I took? Oh, yeah, you picked the flowers. Oh, I picked them. That's what you're imagining in your head that I actually picked them. Okay, so I picked these two blue flowers. Or Jasmine, I could also say I shaded those two. Because remember, our numerator on the top is always going to be whatever like my pieces are, my parts. Right, Aiden? And so uh, the last and trickiest one is a number line. A number line. Can someone just help me label my number line? Ryan and Gopher, are you with me? Let's label our number line. What should this first place on my number line be? What do you think, Mubarak? Zero. I'm going to start with zero, OK? Hmm. And then I want you to think about, instead of the lines, I actually want you to think about the spaces between the lines. Because think about back to our bar model for a second. That's a space. That's a space. That's a space. That's a space. Hmm. I wonder what each line should have then. Think about Mrs. Farnham eating that candy bar, right? I ate this much, and then I ate that much, and that much, and that much. So how much have I eaten? Jazzy, what do you think? Um, I think at the second line you eat it um, a half. It is a half. You're right. I could write that. I'm, I'm halfway done with my bar. Okay. Anything else that I could put on my number line? I was going to say you could switch around the set and it could be four, six. On this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're right. I could. You're right. If I said what's unshaded. Okay, let's go back to our number line, though. Anybody else have an idea on what I could put on my number line? Um, so... Number lines are tricky. You could put... You could put... You could put four out of four. At the... Down here? You could put... You can put down here for Okay, because that's. Oh, and did you figure out there were four pieces? Mm -hmm. That's helpful. Yeah. Look, a rock. One, two, three, four pieces. I was about to count the lines. But looking at the pieces makes it a little easier, doesn't it? Yeah. So if, if we know there are four pieces, how many pieces have I eaten now, Casey? Um, you ate, so you ate that one. Uh, just that one. One out of? four total. And then Jazzy said this is half, but really I could write it another way. I ate how many pieces? Two, two, two. two out of four. And isn't two half of four? Okay. And then if I ate another piece, three out of four. 
three out of four. And then Jazzy told us this is four out of four, which is the same thing as the whole, or I'm sorry, Nick told us that's the same thing as a whole. Now here's why you need to know that. In just a moment, I'm gonna have you do some work for me. I'm gonna have you do some work for me that has to do with zero, half, and one. You all are gonna get a sticky note just like this. And you and a partner, which we'll decide in a moment, are going to have an assignment. So you have maybe a set. I have a set of four, do you see that? On the back of my set, I was told what I needed to shade. I need to shade half. How many should I shade if I need to shade half? A rock? Two. I need to shade two. So I'm gonna do that real quick with my marker and that's what you're gonna do. And then I am going to put it, where do you think? Yeah, I'm going to stick it here. That's what you and your partner are going to do. That's going to make it really easy for us to go through and check them real quick. And then on this one, oh, this is a tricky one. Okay, that's my model. Do you see that? And it says that I need to shade zero. Oh, okay. You put in the zero. 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 What? Zero. Zero. Just put, just put, just put, just zero. put it in the zero. Okay, okay, zero. okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I mean, if I can't, if I said don't shade anything, then don't shade anything, right? It tells me like Man, I bet you're hoping right now you get a zero. No, I don't want it. <laughs> let's see, okay? So, let's show how good we are at getting to partners. Find a partner. You and your partner know what to do. When I give you your sticky, you and your partner decide how to do it. Oh, sorry, 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 Kadisha. Thank you, Miss Brianna. Yeah, if you have it, stick it. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. You guys stay. Okay. I'm going to give you guys a hard one. You don't think? <laughs> Bless you. How much of the number lines do you need to color? Can you show me where one would be? Okay. And so can you just, like, draw on top of the number line then? Like shade it real good, kind of like a fraction bar. Oh, oh let, let. Want to do it? Okay. <laughs> oh, nice try. You figured it out. Nice try, Miss Farina. You guys are good. Thank you. When you're done, I'll take markers back to the spa. Yeah, I like that. If you're done with your marker, please put it right back here real quick. Hurry. I have one last group that's thinking. While they're thinking, we're checking. Ready? Let's look at zero, Gopher. Could you come sit right here, please? Thank you. Let's look at zero. Are all of our zero group groups correct? Yeah. Good, Brianna. Go ahead. I think they are too. They were smart. They were like, no, you're not going to fool me. That means I'm shading zero out of however many pieces I have. I have two pieces, I'm going to shade zero, right? If I have three pieces, I'm going to shade zero. So we could say zero out of three. If I have, oh man, that's a lot, eight pieces, I'm going to shade zero out of eight. All right, what about my halves? How do they look? Oh, which one? Allie, point to me. This one, we think no. How many, let's see, let's see how many circles they have in all, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in all. And so how many did they shade? 
Let's think about that for a second. Four out of eight. Is that half? Yes. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's the crazy thing about sets. Sometimes if you like mix them all up, it is hard to tell at first, isn't it? So that's why it's really nice to write the fraction. As soon as we wrote the fraction, we were like, oh yeah, four is half of eight. Any others that we need to talk about there? I think they look great, halves. Nice job. What about holes? Is that the whole thing? I told him to scribble because it's very hard to label a number line, isn't it? And so look what they did. They figured out that's one, and then they were like, it's like all of that. So they shaded all of these pieces to show one. And what about here? Good correction, because when we first put it up, we had a one piece, but that would be one out of one, two, three, four, five, six. That's less than half, right? That we wanted one whole. So you were like, oh, the whole thing. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, are we ready to try this now at our boards? Yes. So if you could please quietly listen for the code word. Get your dry erase marker and go to your whiteboard spot. Same exact spot you were yesterday. Great. Here's your instruction. Draw six circles, please. They don't have to be perfect. I'm not a perfect artist either. And Allie, while you're waiting for a second, tell me, can you guess, is this a model set or number line? Uh, it's a set, you're right. And so what I want you to do is I want you to shade half of your set. Shade half of your set, please. Shade half of your set. Shade half of your set, Jazzy. Okay, if you're wondering if you got it right, eyes on me. Eyes on me. Jasmine, I think you did a little more than half. You know what I would have done here? I would have just thought about, look, you already have half. Look, you kind of made it, you see? That's half, right? So we would do three. Okay, we ready, clear? Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Think about half. Quickly. All right. Let's do four squares. Four squares, please. Four squares. Less than half of them, please. Yeah, good thinking. I like how Ryan repeated it to himself. He said, less than half. How would I do that? He's thinking. Can you shade less than half? And if you think you have it, could you write the fraction for what you've shaded? I'm gonna do one, please. And then if you really think you have it, can you write the fraction for what's not shaded? Uh, Jazzy, you got it. Write your fraction. Good job. Oh, I like how some of you are getting that. So writing the fraction for what's shaded and what's not shaded. Check your not shaded. Because we can also do sets that way, right? Okay. And let's see if you got the right answer. So first of all, your set should look like this with just one shaded. That's the only way to do less than half, isn't it? And then for shaded, you should have written one over four total. And for not shaded, we have three out of four. Did you get that? Yes. Very good job. Very good job. Now, before you erase your squares, could you shade more than half? Yes. Could you shade more than half now? I think you can. Can you shade more than half? Yes. 
Oh, and if you think you know, if you think you have an answer, can you write your fraction? Just erase your old fractions and write the new one, okay? Oh, some of you figured out you can keep a fraction depending on what you shaded. Okay, good. And I like how some of you are even thinking, I'm going to write the fraction of what's not shaded. You want to give me two. I love it. Oh, Mansoor, that's a great way to do it, too. Very creative. All right, so there's more than one right answer here. Eyes on me if you want to see if you got it. Okay, so first I need to do more than half. So I had to shade at least three out of four. Three out of four would be correct, but I had two creative thinkers in my room. I had some people who said, you just said more than half. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to shade the whole thing. And so they did four out of four. Are they also correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they are also correct because that's more than half. That's the whole thing. Very nice job. Very nice thinking. Thank you for joining our class this morning. I hope you've learned a little bit about fractions. Go, Go Runners!